That folks is Ron with the Ideal Industries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly measure the polarity of the conductors in a live circuit using Ideal's Circ Test Circuit Analyzer. If you'd like to know more about Ideal Circuit Analyzer, it's our catalog number 61-164, and you can contact our customer service department or take a look at our website to find a distributor nearby that actually stocks as, as a circuit analyzers. Now, simply plug the circuit analyzer into an outlet using the one-foot extension cord provided with the tester, or use the one-foot extension cord with the alligator clips on them that you can purchase separately and, again, attach it to, again, to a live circuit. Now, the tester is going to indicate the polarity condition of the individual conductors when it's first plugged in. And the tester checks for the following conditions and indicates the test results on the display. Now, if proper polarity is indicated, all three lights above the hot, neutral, and ground conductors are going to be lit up. If the wiring condition is other than normal, uh, the sure test is limited sometimes on the measurements that actually can be performed. So, for instance, say if no ground wire is present, only the line voltage and voltage drop measurements are actually going to be available to you. In a hot to ground reversal, open neutral or open condition, the unit's not going to have any power, so the display is going to be blank. Uh, and please note the tester will not detect two hot wires in a circuit. A combination of defects, you'd actually have to take a look at them one at a time or the reversal of the grounded and grounding conductors. Now, the sure test will indicate when it sees a false ground condition uh, from an improper bond someplace in a circuit between the neutral and ground, either, either a bootleg ground or, again, some inadvertent contact between the ground and neutral conductors in a circuit. Now, if the tester is within 15 to 20 feet of a main panel, the unit's going to indicate a false ground condition on a properly wired circuit and it's due to its close proximity to that proper ground and neutral bond that we actually make in the main panels. So simply use a 15-foot extension cord and plug it into the circuit and plug the circuit test in it, and this is going to fool the tester into not sensing that intentional neutral to ground bond we have in a panel because of the additional resistance of the extension cord. Now also note, in some cases, the sure test is going to report that there is no ground conductor present when your simple little $15 a uh, polarity tester here says there actually is a ground there, and the reason is because the sure test is programmed to measure up to three ohms of impedance on the ground. And if the impedance on that ground exceeds three ohms, you know something else is wrong. So uh, the sure test is going to report that it's not present, and so that requires a little further investigation to figure out why it's, it's doing that. So to learn more about high deals, sure test circuit analyzer can actually help you uh, discover wiring problems in a building. Again, contact customer service or again visit our website. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.